everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I decided that today would be the perfect day to do kind of like a chatty get to know me video because I've gotten recently quite a few new subscribers. So welcome aboard everyone. I'm so glad you're here on the messy stressy train. But I just kind of want to make a video introducing myself, telling you a little bit about me if you're going to follow my journey. Like, you know, I'm nosy so I always like to know things about the people I'm following. In general, hello, my name is Lindsay. I live in Ohio with my husband and a plethora of fur babies. I've had this author tube channel for about four years now where I've been documenting my journey of writing and querying and eventually finding an agent and eventually getting a book deal uh, which is super cool that I have all of that to look back on and I hope that um, maybe my backlist would be helpful for some of you that are you know querying or trying to get a book deal right now. I started out writing a YA dark fantasy called When the Sea Came For Us. It is still the book of my heart. I love it very much. I'm hoping to one day revisit it and jazz it up. I don't know if it would ever sell. I don't feel like it's particularly marketable, uh, but it is a very fun book. And I have a bunch of videos documenting my failed experience trying to find an agent with that book. And while failing in the query trenches, I wrote The Glass Witch, which is going to be my debut novel coming out with Scholastic next fall. It's about a chubby little angry witch who has to join a Halloween pageant in order to eradicate the evil witch hunter that has awoken by a curse that she enacted herself. <laughs> so it's a very fun Halloween romp. Um, I'm pitching it as Dumplin' meets Hocus Pocus. And yeah, lots is happening with it. I'm very excited for it to be published next year. I'm also working on the second book in my Scholastic contract, which is currently, it's a working title, but currently I'm calling it The Odd Book. I shorten it to Tobe sometimes on the channel, which I'm keeping a little bit secret, but basically um, imagine like Disney and Eddie Murphy's Haunted Mansion um, if the main character was like a disabled female Draco Malfoy. But I'm working on the second draft of that. And in August, I just finished the first draft of my YA thriller. That's placeholder name right now is Project Pyro. And that book is like an own voices disability book about uh, a girl who's kind of like on the wrong side of the tracks <laughs> and she gets invited to this very prestigious boarding school. She doesn't know why because she's like, you know, in and out of juvie, kind of a bad person, doesn't have any accolades, um, but she gets there and then weird stuff starts happening. And yeah, that's pretty much all of my projects going on right now and a little bit of background on my author tube channel and such. Um, but just to make this a little bit more fun, I thought that I would throw in like a little like get to know me tag. And I found this one, I think it's pretty popular on booktube, but it's called the anything but books tag. <laughs> so it's just a way for you to get to know the content creator. So question number one is your favorite cartoon. Um, <laughs> I guess it's kind of sacrilegious, but I actually didn't really like cartoons as a kid. <laughs> unless they were Disney movies. I was raised with like a bunch of old people in my life. Like my grandparents were very, like, very crucial to my development. So I kind of was a grandma from a very early age. So I watched a lot of soap operas and documentaries. In general, uh, one of my favorite cartoons is Tangled by Disney. I just love it very much. In fact, the dog Maximus, my dog Maximus, <laughs> is named after the horse in that movie. So uh, love that. And a recent cartoon that I really loved is Luca, which was on um, Disney Plus, the like kind of, I don't know what you even call them, like mermaid swamp <laughs> creature film. It was so cute and it had so much heart. I loved it. Question number two is your favorite song. So as I mentioned, I'm a grandma, so I don't actually know any like cool new or hip song. Um, mainly when I'm listening to anything, it's like 40s big band and swing or uh, like Motown stuff or film scores <laughs> for my writing. So don't judge me. But my favorite song of all time is Earth, Wind and Fire's September. It's just like a supremely happy song. I love it very much. Um, I really like basically anything by Earth, Wind and Fire. I also like... Um, Sign Seal Delivered, I'm Yours by C.B. Wonder, and This Will Be by Natalie King Cole. Question number three, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? And I'm gonna say or writing because this is a writing channel. So when I get into gaming, I get into gaming. It's kind of like I play a Switch game or a PC game 
for like seven hours straight or I don't play for seven months. That's kind of how it works. But I love playing The Sims. I've always been a simmer my whole life and that's super fun. And I also play Animal Crossing. Darn them Nintendo producers. During NaNoWriMo, they decided to release a humongous update. And I'm like, why? <laughs> there goes my productivity. But I also like hiking. Um, That's something kind of new that me and my husband have gotten into. We've always gone on like walks and nature trails and stuff, but like actual hiking, like six hours in the middle of nowhere in the woods, it's wonderful. And um, like, I'm actually getting to the point now where I'm like buying hiking gear and it's, uh, yeah, it's a really fun hobby that I'm super enjoying. I love being out in nature and roughing it just enough, you know, that I can come home and like use my air conditioning and flushable toilet. Let's not get wild now. I feel like some of you probably already know this about me, but I'm really into herbalism. I love concocting like my own little potions is what I call them. Um, I make like my own face sprays. I've made shampoos and lotions and body oils. I make my own tea blends. Um, that kind of stuff is really fun to me, especially if I'm making like a tincture or like something that can help heal someone else. I love making like little potions for people to help them with their, you know, tiny little ailments and such. Question four, what is something you love to do that you all would be surprised by this is this is really hard because I feel like I vlog so you guys know most of what I do during the day but I really really love documentaries like very very much like if someone was like would you rather watch a fiction tv show or a non-fiction tv show I always would most likely I would choose a documentary I don't know why but in books I prefer fiction in film and tv i prefer non-fiction but my favorites are true crime anything that's like true crime but goofy like the tiger king type stuff like oh my gosh i ate that up which kind of leads into the next question which is favorite unnecessary specific things to learn about like cult documentaries i love those right now i've been obsessed with um on hbo max the cult of gwen shamblin oh my gosh that's like right up my alley it's like so salacious it's just <laughs> utterly wild. I'm having such a good time. Um, I highly recommend that one if you haven't seen. Number six, what is something unusual you know how to do? I really struggled with this because I just realized like <laughs> how untalented I actually am. And the only thing I could come up with was like, <laughs> I, um, I have like the first 25 minutes of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, like the movie, um, completely memorized, including accents. I'm not going to do them for you because that's embarrassing, but I guess that's a talent. Number seven, name or show something you made in the last year. I made this fairy garden. <laughs> last year, um, my husband and my two best friends, we rented out this adorable little fairy making store where you can like host birthday parties. It was incredible and I loved every minute of it. It was so me. It was so perfectly me. And uh, yeah, I worked really hard on it and I love all the little figurines. The holder, I guess is what you called that it's in, is actually like a storybook and it flips open and it's hollowed out and that's where I put like the little house and like the little garden and everything. Um, it's just, it's my pride and joy. <laughs> Number eight, tell us something you think about often. Well, I really don't want to talk about like global warming or the water crisis. So let's talk about books that like, you know, live in my heart. I picked a couple off my list. There's some that I don't have yet. These are going to be featured probably in uh, my favorite books of 2021. If I, if, if I've read them this year and haven't already talked about them. Um, the first one being a snicker of magic. I cannot for the life of me remember who recommended it to me, but it was recommended to me by a subscriber. Thank you so much. Whoever recommended it to me. It was so amazing. I love it. I love the voice of this book. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Oh, it's about a little girl who lives in this town that used to be magical and it lost its magic. Um, she has the ability to like see words all around her. It's it's so cool. It's, I'm doing a horrible job of explaining it, but it is one of the most beautiful middle grades, one of the best middle grade voices. It is just utterly perfection and I wish I would have written it myself. <laughs> I also have a couple other books. I have a lot of favorites. Now these aren't necessarily just favorites or there are lots of other books that are favorites, but these specifically like live in my heart. Like the characters have not left. So I think about them often. One being Evelyn Hugo from the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I mean, most people know what this book is. It's a beautiful, basically documentary of this um, Marilyn Monroe-esque actress's life. It's 
wonderful. She's one of my favorite characters of all time. I just love a <laughs> like ferociously ambitious woman um, who's very messy. So I think about this all the time. Also a lot of her other works. I just finished reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid which features one of Evelyn's ex-husbands in here and his family. Oh I'm not gonna say that I like Malibu Rising more than Evelyn Hugo because I'd have to reread Evelyn Hugo but just oh the way she does characters. I just like oh they break my heart. Next is God's Grave which is the second book in the Nevernight trilogy by Jay Kristoff. This is my favorite book of all time. I think about it often. It is the only book that has ever literally triggered a migraine because the, the climax was so intense. Um, yeah, think about this one all the time. House in the Cerulean Sea. Probably going to be my favorite book of the year. I think about the children in this house all the time. It's about a guy who uh, goes to an orphanage for extremely odd children <laughs> and um, falls in love and learns how to love himself through these beautiful weird kids and um, my favorite character in this book is named Chauncey which is where my puppy Chauncey got his name. I also think of Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor all the time just because it is utterly breathtaking. The writing is just like whipped chocolate like that's the only way to describe it it's gorgeous. And another book that lives in my heart <laughs> is Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs by Caitlin Doherty. She's an, a youtuber she has that channel that's about being a mortician and I think about this all the time because there's not a single party that I've been to since I read this where I don't share the fact that if you die in your house a cat will start eating you only after two days whereas your dog will at least give you the courtesy of seven days. Honestly I feel like my cat would <laughs> not even give me two days. Next share your most recent personal project. Well I wrote a book <laughs> and it's getting published but I can't really share that yet um but my most recent personal project is honestly training my new puppy. I'm <laughs> he's going to his first puppy school class tonight which I'm really excited about um but we're teaching him how to sit and we're teaching him the word potty and the word walk and the word no <laughs> um, uh, which has been a fun time. Obviously he's not understanding that a closed door means you can't come in right now. And then the last question is just to share some favorites. I don't know what to share for this. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is a big favorite in my life. And my favorite movie of all time, like if you truly want to know me, my soul, my writing style, my uh, comedic je ne sais quoi. <laughs> uh, it's the Addams Family Values. That's it. I feel like I've mentioned that on this channel a lot, but that movie is me in every way possible. It's everything I am and everything I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just like, you know, kind of like getting to know each other. If you guys feel up to it, answer some of these questions down below yourself. Um, I'd love to get to know some of you new subscribers better. And yeah, I, I can't wait to talk to you down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.